reason why we're doing it is because obviously where we are is an area that's got a lot of traffic, a lot of concerns, and it's got an important thing over your right shoulder, which is LP Field. And we've taken all considerations in this project and how we can best build it and have the least amount of impact on what goes on in and around this particular area. We think it'll be very successful. It's a new project product for us in Middle Tennessee. It's not new across the country, but it's new for us. We're excited about this opportunity and our ability to produce a product that doesn't interfere with the public as much as it might normally do. We started over in Smith County on a rural project with a, a small bridge, and we kind of pioneered this concept where we're gonna act, we're gonna we're gonna saw up and take off the the deck down to the beams and then we're gonna use prefabricated panels to come in and set up on the bridge. That allows the contractor to get in here. We've got 13 weekends scheduled for this type of activity. They can come in, they can dismantle the bridge, put the new precast components in, and then have the road open back up to traffic on Monday morning. So you'll see incremental progress as we work across from edge of shoulder through the middle of the roadway back to, uh, over onto the other side. Uh, obviously there will be some delays during the week as well. Well, now actually during the week we've designed the project where we'll be able to maintain lanes on the project. You all, know, all, all lanes open? Yes, we'll be able to maintain the lanes. These bridges were built in 1961. We did do a widening project through here in 1985, but I think these are some good examples of our aging infrastructure out there. It's so critical to uh, the city of Nashville for this road to be open and for us to be able to maintain traffic through here.